in this lesson we take a look at equivalent fractions. Now let's consider this half, okay, 1 over 2. Now if we split up the diagram as such, okay, we've got four pieces now, two are shaded. So it's the same as two quarters. Now go back to the half. If we split the diagram up into six pieces, okay, three are shaded. So it's the same as three sixths. If we break it up into ten pieces, five are shaded. So it equals five tenths as well. Now we could continue on this way. We could break it up into 100 pieces. And if you were to count them, you'd find that 50 are shaded. So 50 hundredths. And we could continue on that way. So these are all examples of equivalent fractions. Let's look at some examples now. We're asked to complete the equivalent fractions. The first one we've got is one third equals something over six. Now, if we look at the denominators, okay, the bottom numbers, we know that the first one we've got is three, and then the other one we've got is six. We ask ourselves, what have we done to the three to turn it into a six? Well, we've multiplied by two. So if we multiply the bottom by two, we multiply the top by two as well. And one times two is equal to two. The next one, two-fifths equals something over 20. Again, looking at our bottom numbers, our denominators, the 5 we've turned into a 20 by multiplying by 4. So if we multiply the bottom by 4, we multiply the top by 4 as well. So on the top, okay, our numerator, 2 times 4 becomes 8. The next one, 3 eighths equals something over 40. So our denominators, we know both of them, so let's consider 8. To turn it into a 40, we times by 5. We times the bottom by 5, let's times the top by 5 as well. And 3 times 5 is 15. 3 quarters equals something over 40. Looking at the denominator, 4 has turned into 40 by multiplying by 10. That's right. So we times 10. Timesing 10 on the bottom, we times 10 on the top as well. And 3 times 10 is 30. The next one, 1 half equals something over 12. Well, the denominator is 2. We've turned it into a 12 by multiplying by 6. So if we multiply the bottom by 6, let's multiply the top by 6, okay, the numerator. And 1 times 6 is 6. Okay, the next one's a little bit different, okay, because this time we know both top numbers, we know both numerators. So we're going to be working with the numerators. So looking at the top, we've turned the 1 to a 5. How do we do that? We do that by timesing by 5. So if we times the top by 5, we must times the bottom by 5 as well. So 4 times 5 is 20. The next one, again, we know both numerators, okay, both top numbers. So looking at the 2, how do we change that to a 6? We do that by timesing by 3. So if we times the top by 3, let's times the bottom by 3 as well. And 9 threes are 27. 3 tenths equals 12 over something. Again, we know the top numbers. So the 3, to turn it into a 12, we times by 4. If we times the top by 4, let's times the bottom by 4 as well. And 10 fours are 40. 